Hello, all my Buckeye fans out there. This is Buckeye Vinny coming to you today. Today's segment is going to be about the history of the Ohio State Buckeyes football coaches. And we're going to start with none other than legendary, most winningest coach in Ohio State history, and that's none other than Woody Hayes. Woody Hayes coached the Buckeyes for 28 seasons where he amassed a record of 205 wins, 61 losses, and 10 ties, and numerous, numerous national championships for Woody Hayes. And I got to tell you about Woody Hayes. He was a fierce competitor. The man loved the win, and he could not stand the team up north. And talking about the team up north, Woody Hayes had a career record of 16 wins, 11 losses, and one tie versus the Wolverines. So, yes, he had a winning uh, record against the team up north, and again, the most all-time winningest coach in Buckeye history. After Woody Hayes came was Earl Bruce. Earl Bruce coached nine years at Ohio State, and Earl Bruce came in in 1979, that was his first year, where he finished a phenomenal 11 and 1 in his very first season, my friends. And let me tell you about Earl Bruce. Earl Bruce had a career record of 81 wins, only 26 losses, and one tie. He did have a career record against the team up north of 5 and 4. So, yes, he did have a winning record against the team up north. And we all remember his first year. The final game came down to our arch rival USC Trojans. And we all remember what happened there. USC won a nail-biter 17-16 to to eliminate the Buckeyes from winning another national championship. But all in all, I liked Earl Bruce a lot. Again, Earl averaged about nine, uh, which he did, nine wins in a season, which was not bad back then because the Buckeyes did play a very fair schedule back in Earl Bruce's tenure for the Ohio State Buckeyes. So again... Earl Bruce with a 5-4 and four career record against the team up north. And overall, 81 wins, 26 losses, and one tie. After Earl Bruce came John Cooper. John Cooper first came on the scene in 1988. Cooper coached 13 years for the Buckeyes, where he amassed a record of 111 wins, only 43 losses, and four ties. But I'm going to tell you about John Cooper, my friends. And the big smack in John Cooper's face was his failure to beat the team up north. I, I'm just being honest. He was a heck of a recruiter, no doubt about it. But his career record at Ohio State against the team up north was a miserable two wins, ten losses, and one tie. And I'm just going to be honest with you, my friends. That is the big reason why Earl Bruce uh, I'm sorry, that is a big reason why John Cooper got canned was because of his failure to beat the team up north. He had many great seasons where they only lost a game and many, many talented players on those teams that he coached, but he could not defeat the team up north. I just gave you a stat. Two wins, ten losses, and one tie, unacceptable. No doubt about it. And I'm just going to be honest with you, the very first year Cooper came on the scene, he had a miserable four wins, six losses, and one tie. Moving on, the coach that came through in the clutch after John Cooper was our area boy, Jimmy Trestle. Jimmy Trestle coached 10 years for the Buckeyes, where he amassed a record of 106 wins, only 22 losses, and we all remember the 2002 National Championship win over the heavily favored Miami Hurricanes that season. We all remember the Buckeyes pulling that game out in overtime 31-24. to But a stat that jumped out at me big time, my friends, was Jimmy Trestle's career record against the team up north of 9-1. and Phenomenal record Jimmy Trestle did for the Ohio State Buckeyes defeating the team up north. And again, when Jimmy Trussell came on the scene in 2001, he did not have the most uh, greatest record his first year. 
Yes, he had a winning record. He finished seven wins, five losses, made a bowl game, but defeated a very good Wolverine team that year, 26-20, to in the big house. So that spoke a lot for Jimmy Trussell, even though, again, 7-5 and five was nothing to write home about. He did defeat the team up north his very first season. Moving on after Trestle left came Luke Fickle, 2011. God bless Luke. He only lasted one year, and in that year was not successful, my friends. He won six games, lost seven, under 500 record, and got defeated by the team up north, 40 to 34. I remember it was a very, it was a no biter. It was a good game, but nonetheless. Luke Fickle, and let's be honest, it was a little unfair of Luke to be asked to come in after legendary coach Jimmy Trestle. And Luke, again, did his very best, but we all knew at the time Luke was not going to be the head coach for many seasons. Again, he only lasted the one year. Six wins, seven losses, and it was the worst, one of the worst records since the 1988 season. Under John Cooper, where Cooper finished four wins, six losses in one time. Moving on, after Luke came Urban Meyer. Urban coached from 2012 to 2018, a phenomenal season, seven-year stint for the Buckeyes, where Urban Meyer won 83 games and only lost nine. And we all remember that 2014 National Championship victory against the Oregon Ducks, 42-20. to And let's remember this, my friends. A perfect 7-0 and record against the team up north. That says a lot about my man, Urban Meyer. Moving on, after Urban Meyer left, we had Ryan Day. Ryan Day, phenomenal job he did, and I am going to count the three games that he filled in as the interim coach when we all remember 2018, Urban Meyer had to sit out the first three games of the year. Ryan Day won those three games, plus finished 13-1 and last season to give him an overall record of 16-1 and in his tenure so far as the head coach and a perfect 1-0 against the team up north. So, my friends, if you calculate what I just went over with our record against the team up north, fans, do the math. We are 17-2 and two against the Wolverines. To me, that is not a rivalry. 17-2? and two? Wow. And again, the Buckeyes obviously had some really good teams in, that, in, the, in those seasons of beating the Wolverines. And I'm just going to throw out the Wolverines had some good teams too. But again, the last 19 games, the Buckeyes are 17-2 and two against the team up north. A phenomenal stat. And I'm just going to continue this. The Buckeyes are going to continue that success without a doubt in the 2020 season. So, my friends out there, I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I'm going to give a shout out to my good friends over at the Yankee Clipper Barbershop, owned by Ray. Ray, a fantastic barber over there, and his co-partner, Marino. Go there, get a haircut, my friends. They treat you phenomenal. But you have to call in for an appointment, 330-856-4211. It's located right beside the Pizza Works in Howland and across from Leo's Restaurante. Again, Yankee Clipper, they treat you like family. Again, Ray and Marino, a great job that they do. You need a haircut, go to them. Again, 330-856-4211. Hope everyone enjoyed this video. Continue, please, to subscribe to my picture up here. Continue to comment if you liked it. Click on the like button. And again, to all my friends and fans, God bless. Stay safe. Peace out.